Welcome, in front of me is a Motorola E40 and today I'll show you how you can go through the setup process of your phone. So, once you boot it up for the very first time, you should be presented with this screen right over here where you get to, number one, select your desired language. Now for me, it already selected a correct, uh, not correct one, but incorrect one. So I'll need to find the one that I want to use, which is English. In terms of English, we do have a couple different like regions, which I honestly have no idea in what way do they differ. So I'm just gonna tap on United States. Anyway, from there we can select Get Started, which will take us to inserting a SIM card. Now there is the SIM insertion and also Wi-Fi. And the reason those two actually show up is so later on throughout the setup process, you can connect your Google account if you want to. Now, if you choose to skip connecting to either one of them or, well, technically both of them, then you won't see the Google login page and additionally date and time will be set automatically. But if obviously you choose one of them at least, you should be able to connect to Google and time and date should be set automatically. Now I'll be skipping both of them, so there we go. And this will then bring us to the Google services. I have three different services. You can read exactly what these do. And if you want to keep them on, then do. If you don't, you can toggle it off and then go down, select accept to go to the next page, which here you can set up a some kind of screen lock. Now it automatically opts into a four digit pen, but you can tap on here, screen lock options, the blue text, and choose also from pattern or password. Now I'll set up a pattern. Now, once you insert your screen lock, select next and then repeat it the same way. It automatically also prompts me to set up a fingerprint, but I'm gonna skip it. Obviously, you can set up a fingerprint if you wish to, but I just don't want to. Privacy and software updates. So this is just strictly from, I believe, Motorola. So we have some help improve Motorola products enhanced device support and smart update. So obviously if you want some of them, keep them on. If you don't care, turn it off or keep it as it is. Now we have a couple additional things from uh, Motorola right here. Um, they're one of the companies that basically just flies you with like stupid trash like this. So stay in the know, provide us with your email or notifications in this case. So no thanks and no. They have, wait, there is more trash. They do forget the last part though. Um, so again, provide your email and get some whatever. Don't care, next. Obviously, if you are really curious, you can read it exactly. And if you really want to, you could provide your email, but honestly, all you would be doing is just giving away your personal information in a way. So I don't think it's really worth it. Now here we have some location access, so um, what is this in relation to? Okay, so I boot, this is just a basically GPS tracking. Uh, I believe this is strictly for all the apps that are located. When you enable this, it just keeps the location on. So other apps like Google Maps can utilize it. So if you don't want to, you can turn it off. And as you can see, this finishes up the setup. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.